Good morning and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. If anyone is joining us for the first time or visiting, we welcome you. We remind you that if your children need to use the restroom, they should be accompanied by an adult. Before starting our celebration, please let us remove all things that will distract us and others around us. Please turn off cell phones and other electronic devices. Today, April 7th, we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter. Today is the conclusion of eight days, which are all in the sense Easter. We find before us the remaining six weeks of the season of Easter, and we have the relatively new designation of this Sunday as a proper place for contemplating the mercy of God. The resurrection of the body, won for us by Jesus, in fact, the greatest mercy which could be bestowed upon us. We are called to rejoice in the meaning of our lives as eternal act of praise of God. Now I invite you to please stand and towards, towards the center to welcome our residing priest, Father Sergio and Deacon Jose Luis. For, for the repose of the soul of Erika Uribe Luna, Catalina Ledesma, and Angela Ortiz. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done what I failed to do, through my fall, to my fall, to my most gracious fall. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you. 
who in the early recurrence of the Paschal Feast, came you the faith of people, you had made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace on your head be stone, that all may grasp and gravity understand in what form they have to be worshipped, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by the blood they have been redeemed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We may feel squeamish about the report that among the earliest Christians, all property was held in common. We tend to imagine that abuses would be rampant if they tried this, but the resurrection is our greatest possession. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was once one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord.
We begin to read from the first letter of John, who today gives us reflection on the water and blood, which are pivotal to our salvation. The water of baptism cannot be separated from the blood which Jesus lovingly shed for us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments and his commandments not be burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith, who indeed is the victor over the world. But the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God, this is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy Gospel according to John. On the, evening, on the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I send, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails on his hands, I put my finger into his nail marks, I put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked. 
and I stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it to my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not, that are not written on this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through his disbelief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. about what I can say for this, this homily today. And I remember when I was maybe in, uh, in the college, I was in college. April 2nd, 2005, the Catholic Church received a sad news. That night, around 9.30 p.m., the Catholic Church here the pastor, or who was the pastor, Paul, John Paul II, passed away. And it was a sad news for us because um, we consider one of the greatest pastors in our church. And he teaches us a lot how to be a good disciple, how to share with others, how to pray as a good disciple. And he was our example for us, for many of us. Not young people, maybe they don't remember John Paul II, but maybe you hear about him. And the first reading and the Acts of the Apostles, the Acts of the Apostles remind us how that first community, the Christian community, says that the Acts of the Apostles says, the community of believers was one of heart and mind. John Paul II tried to teach us around the world how can be this kind of communities. How, this, how can be this kind of believers? One heart and mind. And the Acts of the Apostles continue to say, they share everything, their possession that they have. But not only the possession that they have, especially the faith. We as a Christian are invited, are invited to be with others, to pray with others, and be one with others in mind and heart. And share with others not our possession maybe today, but our faith. This is one, this is the main point in the, in the free reading. Share with others as Jesus Christ teaches. John Paul II teaches that, that in, in his with his examples, how pray with others, how can be good community. In the second reading, the letter of St. John, St. John reminds us something important. And in his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquered the world. I'm sure that John Paul II heard this letter. And that is why he was really um, a good pastor who teaches us to share with others, to believe in Jesus Christ. And the gospel what we hear today, the gospel of John, is something important what we hear in the John gospel. Jesus appeared in the middle of the room to his disciples. To do what? Jesus says that peace be with you. Jesus is sharing this, their peace, his peace with the, with the apostles. Jesus is teaching them how to be a good community, how to pray each other. 
especially for these days, for today, we as a community need to be a good community who pray each other. How means, this is a question for you, what it means have a good spirituality? What it means have a good life or good relationship with Jesus Christ? When we have a peace in our heart, in our mind, we can share the faith what Jesus teaches us. If we don't have a good, good relationship with Him, we don't have peace within our heart. And that is the main point which Jesus teaches today in the Gospel. It's true, maybe some of you reflect about what Thomas says, what Jesus said to Thomas. But it's not the main point in the Gospel today. In today's Gospel, is the main point is Jesus shared with His peace with us. Jesus uh, tells them the apostles in the, in the room, the peace be with you. What kind of peace? The peace of the world? No. It's the peace that Jesus has for us. And that Jesus teaches us how to make, how to share this peace with others. Especially, especially when we make a good communities. In the, in the, in the beginning, when the, when the um, Christian communities begin, these communities share, says the gospel, the Acts of the Apostles, they share their possession. But, the most important, they pray each other and they share their faith. This is the invitation for, for you, for, for myself. If you as a parent teach your, your son or daughter how to pray, how to make a good community in your family, you have peace in your family. You will, you will be happy peace in your family and we will be shared and joy the peace and the society. Jesus invites us today to, to do the peace as he teaches and he says in the gospel the peace be with you not just one one time twice Jesus says the peace be with you because it's important for today especially for today our world need experience that faith and the gospel says today, today, in the gospel, Jesus teaches something important too. Had John Paul II do for the world, he shared his faith. And he was the one of the disciples who evangelized around the world. And Jesus today invites us and sent us to be a good disciples and good apostles. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten not made, Consistential with the Father, to him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from the heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary, and became man. For us say he was crucified on the conscious fire. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will be come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will be God no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the given of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, for with the Father and the Son is adored for the Father, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We Christians proclaim, rejoice the world which can be called up in feeling the, the fearfully. Let us rejoice that the victory of Jesus is victory for all human beings. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our, prayer. our assembly, our church, is founded upon Jesus' victory. May we become more effective in proclaiming the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Our world seems tired and aimless. May we, in all our dealings with Christians and non-Christians, rely upon the life which cannot be dissolved. We pray to the Lord. Lord be our we reflect upon the virtue of mercy. May we, who experience new life through divine mercy, exercise the grace of mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord be our we remember all who meet with obstacles to believe in God and God good news. May our example of having received the gift appeal to all who have, are without without it. We pray to the Lord. Lord we know that illness often leads to lo loss of hope. May the Ho Holy Spirit be strength to all who experience weakness. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the resurrection of all who have died, especially for those who have died recently, or for all those whose anniversaries are cured at this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. O Holy Father, O Holy Trinity, every year at this time we reflect upon Thomas' state of mind following the crucifixion of Jesus. We identify with him as he feels in the depths of his so tremendous loss to hope. We also identify with him as the risen Lord invites him to examine his wounds. May Thomas' joy be for us. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Sacrificing yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Yes. 
Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, and of those you have brought to the new birth, that renew the confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain undeniable happiness to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just a duty and all salvation all the time to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all those love, you get more glory when Jesus, when Christ of Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of the light rest to eternal life, and the house of the heavenly kingdom, to the open to the faithful. For this death, for his death, is arisen from the dead, and his risen from life has risen. Therefore, overcome which pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalting your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together on the hymn in your glory, as they acclaim. upon them like the world, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered with him into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim the head. Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased and worked away the age, 
and may merit to be coerced to the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. suffer each other a sign of peace.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's have a seat. We have some announcements, please. Um, sell the menu includes menudo, tamales, and champurado. We invite you to stop there and, um, and participate with this uh, delicious food sale. Also today we will be offered to more family events, our, egg, our Easter egg hunt, located at the soccer field, the San Felipe Neri uh, Ministerial Fair. Please stop by one, by any of these booths for more information or how you can serve your parish and community. This is um, one invitation for all of you who want to participate or have the intention or maybe uh, the Holy Spirit has called you to serve in any ministry. Please stop in the booths what we have outside in the church and ask them how you can be part of the community or part of the, the ministry. 
Our St. Philip Mary School is now enrolling TK, middle school, eighth grade, for the um, school year 24-25. We have been providing a quality Catholic education for the past 17 years. New students may be eligible for 15% um, financial assistance. For more information, will be located at the X on an event. The teachers, I hope the teachers are there. You can ask them um, whatever information you want to know about our school. On Friday, May 10th, we'll be celebrating our Mother's Day dinner and dance. Ticket sales are now available for the parish office. Reserve your table for your family. Um, the table is for 10. Tita, uh, tita, no. 300, 300, sorry. 2000, no, it's too much. $2,060 for, for table, or um, the ticket, personal ticket is 40, okay? You want to participate, please check in your calendar. We have event May 10th, it's Friday. You want to invite your mom or your husband or your wife to participate in this dinner or dance, please join us. Huh? Yes. You remember that the last last Sunday was raining. That is why we don't have our ex event for the Easter 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 Sunday. But today we have that event in front of the field. You can be join us there with your family, with your children. Please come and forward to them and uh, enjoy the time with your family. We have people who are celebrating his birthday or her birthday. Please raise your hand. Somebody. One, two, three, four. Somebody else? No? Okay, please. Congratulations. Padre Misericordioso, te pedimos por estos hijos tuyos que has llamado a la vida. Bendíceles en la unidad familiar, en el amor, la alegría de servir el uno al otro y con años de salud y de alegría. Que el Padre y el Espíritu Santo les bendiga. Amen. Some couples who is celebrating his anniversaries, their anniversaries, the Catholic Church, no? Who's not married? Nobody. Okay. Families would present children for a blessing? No? Okay. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to celebrate that Jesus has risen. Hallelujah, hallelujah.